Welcome to Mellow Bites and this is our first ever video of posting our travel experience in train and that to Tejas Express from Madurai to Chennai. In this video we are going to share our travel experience, the facilities inside the train, how we ordered food through IRCTC app and a short review of food out there also. So we started from our town to Madurai Junction via car. It was actually raining outside and it's just an hour drive from our place. We started around 1.30 p.m. and reached exactly like 2.20 p.m. to the Madurai railway station. This Tejas Express starts around 3 p.m. from Madurai and it is a semi-high speed fully air-conditioned train introduced by Indian Railways in the year 2017. It was a very cute warming line on the welcome board of the junction. There were clear digital displays as soon as we entered into the junction. The digital display boards provided a very clear information about which platform is for our train and the Tejas Express would be departing from. So as we were forwarding towards our platform, we were eagerly anticipating for our travel ahead as well. So here is the Tejas Express that we are going to get in and let's march towards finding our compartment. So our compartment was C11 and we approached towards that. But unfortunately we found the access closed. Until there is an access let's make the most of our time by grabbing some snacks because I didn't pack any snacks for the travel. So here from the platform I picked chips and biscuits. I know chips is a junk but yeah Bargo wanted it. So they opened the access around 2.50 pm. The access door swung open granting us entry into the train. This train reaches Chennai in just 6 hours and this is our first ever time we are getting into this train. This train features modern onboard facilities with doors that are operated automatically and it's really exciting to get in. This train had 3 seaters on both sides and as we were marching towards our seats, we found that our 3 seater was just facing opposite to the previous 3 seater and it was just like face to face of the passengers. So we settled down into our seats. And I felt that the seats were so comfortable. Also, I was so happy to discover that they had availability of Wi-Fi as well. As usual, like any other train, they also had Powerplex provision out there. And I also noticed the thoughtful provision of newspapers in both Tamil and English language, ensuring that passengers were well informed and have fun throughout the journey. There was one magazine as well, a platform magazine. Let's read later. As I was going through it, I also made sure that I put all my luggages on the top provision. So they had enough spacing for putting all your luggages on the top provision. So we put our luggages there and after then we also noticed that the leg room was also quite comfortable. And within a few minutes there was a disgusting encounter of a cockroach. It actually briefly interrupted our excitement but then the train started moving on. So as the train moved on. The first hour of our journey was spent munching on the snacks. Bargo started munching on the chips. Look at this chips packet. As soon as he opened, we found that there was very less chips inside and uh, it was completely crushed. Always when you buy snacks from outside, make sure you check the expiry date. I forgot to do that, so I checked the expiry date before he started to munch into it. So. The first hour was all about munching and my dad was spending time with the newspaper like any dad would do. The best part of traveling in a train is all about watching the green scenic views in a nice comfortable journey. The greens were so pleasing to the eyes and whenever I watch these greens sitting in a train I feel like a child inside making me so happy and peaceful. So after a while I decided to go for looking for culinary options that's available on board. We didn't pack any food for our travel. Nevertheless, we didn't order any food from Tejas while booking the tickets. This IRCTC app is very handy so we effortlessly placed an order. It was very clear, it was very simple to handle this app and there were clear instructions and it was user friendly app as well. So we made the order, we decided to go for two different types of restaurants because my dad preferred having South Indian and Barga was preferring to have some sandwich or wraps or something like that. Because we have chosen the location of delivery from Trichy, this food will be reached in our hands only when the train arrives at Trichy. So until then, we thought of just relaxing. Yeah, we had a very short nap. As the train reached 
திருச்சி வி ஹேட் டு ரஷ் டவுன் வி காட் அ போன் கால் ஃப்ரம் தி ரெஸ்டரன்ட் சர்வீஸ் ப்ரொவைடர் அண்ட் தென் வி ஹேட் டு ஜஸ்ட் கெட் இன் வென் யூ ஆர்டர் ஃபுட் ஃப்ரம் த ஆப் எதர் யூ ஹேவ் டு கோ ஃபார் நெட் பேங்கிங் ஆர் ஜிபே ஆர் எல்ஸ் யூ ஹேவ் டு ஹேவ் ரைட் அமௌண்ட் ஆஃப் கேஷ் இன் யூ ஹென்ஸ் அதர்வைஸ் இட்ஸ் கோயிங் டு பி லிட்டில் பிட் ட்ரபிள் ஸோ வி காட் திஸ் சிக்கன் கிளப் சாண்ட்விச் அட் ரம்யாஸ் ஹோட்டல்ஸ் ஃபார் ருபீஸ் டூ ஃபிஃப்டி ஃப்ரம் திருச்சி and let's check how it's this it was quite neatly packed and i loved these triangular sandwich look so bado tasted this chicken club sandwich and said that it was not as tasty as it looks so i was really doubtful of what he's saying so i thought i'll also try and yeah of course he was correct it didn't have much chicken pieces it had an omelet kind of stuffing into it that's it along with the chicken club sandwich they also gave another side let me open this they had potato chips in it it should have been great if they had french fries in it anyways it's nice too much that's it my dad ordered onion uttappam this hotel had very low ratings in the irctc it had just 3.7 but still he wanted south indian food so he tried this onion uttappam it had lot of packages we were confused like what did they give side for onion uttappam they had sambar chutneys and lot of stuff Let's see how this dosa looks like. After opening this onion dosa, we were quite shocked. It didn't even appear like dosa, it was more like white color creeps. It was so soft and I was thinking that they didn't give onion dosa, they just made the parcel wrong. But as we checked in, we found that there were a lot of onions stuffed into it. It was really funny, we never heard an onion dosa like this. but there is no other go we have to taste this onion uttappam and they gave sambar look at this sambar i'm just finding a new style of sambar it's so runny it's so runny it's so watery more than having a good food it was like having good comments good fun enjoying the different making of this onion dosa and this sambar and final verdict is that better not to buy this onion dosa that's it after having some food we decided not to have any digital relaxation at all so we just started playing games so we played hangman we played this dotted line game where you have to complete a square you this dotted line game is interesting that you get a chance to connect two dots turn by turn and once you complete a square that square belongs to you the winner is who makes lot of squares out of this it was really nice when you play with your kids this time is something pleasant right bargo munch some biscuits taking a break we just didn't want to go digital watch phone or anything but look what my dad is doing maybe he is feeling bored the 6 hours of train journey was about to end and definitely this train journey is so memorable so nice So we are about to reach the Chennai station and we started taking all our luggages and get ready for getting down. This train journey is definitely so memorable. We had great time together except for food and one more thing. Yeah. We didn't like the hygiene of the restroom so otherwise it was really nice. It's definitely a good service from Indian Railways to reach the city very faster in a very comfortable seating. So we reach Chennai and we'll be keeping posting more Chennai food reviews as well. So stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Meet you in another video. Until then, bye.